But thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you doing that. Um, and for all you parents, I appreciate you bringing your kids along to read my new children's book. Uh, I'm very excited to share this children's book with you. Um, it was a lot of work. So I wrote the book itself. I was the author, uh, if you want to think about what that means. Uh, also, I had my friend Dylan. He illustrated the book. So all of the illustrations, the pictures that you see were done by my friend Dylan, they're incredible. Um, and before we crack open the book, uh, I do want to talk a little bit about maybe what this book is about. Um, and if you're watching at home, I'd like for you to look at the, the cover, and I'll, I'll get up close there so you can see it good. So take a look at the cover and, and the back as well, and just, you know, you know, think and talk to your family there who are with you and, and wonder what this book might be about. There are a lot of clues. Uh, on the front, there is Adam, that's me, his friends, uh, and on the back, there are some of us doing some uh, other activities. So just give a good thought what you think this book might be about. Uh, also, I want you to, while I read the book, think about some skills or activities that maybe you're trying to learn. Um, are you trying to learn to read? I know that's tough. Uh, are you trying to learn to ride a bike? You're trying to learn how to dribble a basketball. Things like that can be difficult. And I want you to think about what things maybe that you're trying to learn right now. Uh, and, and, and think about how that might apply when reading this book. Okay, guys. Um, so with that being said, I want to go ahead and read to you my book for the first time ever. This is Adam and the Golden Horseshoe. And I'm going to come over here so you can see the pictures better. Okay. Hope you all can see that well. Adam's faded secondhand guitar never left his side. He played it at home. He played it at school. He even slept with it. Adam practiced for weeks, but he still didn't feel confident enough to win. The talent show was tomorrow and all of his friends were performing. The Young Bucks had the best tumbling act in town. Marty, well, he was a karaoke rock star. Kenny had mastered his video game controller. Cody memorized his state of the school speech. They all wanted to win the first place trophy. But that night, Adam forgot a note. He broke a string. Adam put away his guitar, slipped off his boots, and sighed, I'm just not good enough. How do you think Adam might be feeling here? There are a lot of clues. The room looks very blue. Adam's shoulders are shrugged. He's frowning. I'd say he's pretty sad. From the corner, Adam turned to hear the familiar sound of his boots. Not ready for tomorrow's talent show? The Golden Horseshoe can help you win. It gives good luck to anyone who holds it. His boots explained, Legend says that by a tiny mill way west of here, there's a place where grandmas cook fried pies by the truckload and the horses roam free. The town of Aaron's Creek is where you'll find the golden horseshoe. Adam had to find out if the Golden Horseshoe could help him, so he hopped on the first passenger train for Aaron's Creek. Do you guys think Adam will find the Golden Horseshoe? I don't know. The mountains turned to desert sand when Adam heard yelling. This is a robbery! screeched a small, villainous raven. 
Adam and the passengers frantically looked for a hero. His boots whispered, Here's your chance. Adam just sputtered, I can't help. I'm, I'm just not good enough. Just then, the train lurched to a hard stop and Adam lost his footing. And you can see him tumbling through the train. Does that look like a wrestling move you may be familiar with from Adam? He tripped and fell. He hit the ground. Now he would never make it to Aaron's Creek. Discouraged, Adam walked and walked and walked. He climbed over rocks and through cactus sharper than barbed wire. Adam reached a raging river. He was exhausted and ready to tap out. His boots encouraged. You can find a way across. But all Adam saw was the fastest water he'd ever seen. He plopped down on the log and sighed. No, I can't. I'm just not good enough. Just then, the log tumbled down the bank and into the water, taking Adam with it. He closed his eyes. He held on tight. As Adam opened his eyes, he couldn't believe it. What do you guys think he saw? The sweet smell of fried pies filled the air. He had finally landed in Aaron's Creek. But something wasn't right. The downtown was empty, except for a slender, long-haired cat. The air grew thick. The cat's wavy fur fluttered from the growing winds. Adam looked up to see a challenge bigger than he'd ever faced. A tornado was heading straight towards town. There was nowhere to hide and no one to help. Adam's boots whispered, you will have to be good enough. Adam swung his lasso. He threw it far. He defeated the tornado. Adam saved the town of Aaron's Creek. The townspeople burst into the streets, chanting Adam's name. For his bravery, Adam was, was awarded the golden Horseshoe, the lucky charm he needed to win the talent show. He felt his confidence grow as he proudly tucked the golden horseshoe into his back pocket and rushed home. Adam set off for school that next morning, ready to win the talent show. He hit every note. He strummed those strings. Adam won first place. He looked down and waited for his boots to talk, but they said nothing. And when he reached into his back pocket, there was no golden horseshoe. Confidence was all that he had needed.
And that is Adam and the Golden Horseshoe. I do want to, before I move, read you the note that I've included at the end of the book. If you've ever felt that you're not good enough, you're not alone. Uh, even the most successful people have doubted themselves at some point. Rather than resigning yourself to failure, I hope you can find the strength to continue on your journey with your head held high. Remember that it doesn't take a golden horseshoe to become a champion. You just have to believe in yourself. So guys, thank you for joining me, for reading my book. I'm very proud of it. Uh, and I, I want you to ask the question to yourself and maybe answer with your family there at home. Where did the golden horseshoe go? Was it even real in the first place? And how did Adam change through the story? I know at first he seemed really down, but by the end, he won the talent show and he did great. Uh, and I know that all of you have stories like this in your life and will continue to have stories like this in your life, which is why uh, I and Trism Books have provided you with a small little activity to do uh, after hearing the book. Uh, so if you go to, it's trismbooks.com, uh, under the resources tab, there is a small worksheet there for you. Uh, and I did one as well. I filled one out and I'll share that with you as well. Uh, but this will allow you to draw a small book, a small comic story of your own, like I did with, with my book. Um, there are six frames here, and if you don't have a printer, you don't have the resources to get this printed out, you can just draw it on a piece of paper. Uh, I'll share, share that stuff with you, um, and I'll share my worksheet with you as well. Uh, one thing that I love doing is wrestling. I love it because it makes me feel excited. One of my biggest supporters is the crowd. To do my best, I practice by exercising. One day, I will be AEW champion. I have the heart of a champion wrestler. So, guys, if you print this out or draw your own on a piece of paper, please uh, finish this out. Uh, send it, take a picture, send it to me on Twitter, on Instagram, tag me in it. Uh, I'd love to see what you guys come up with, and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for joining me here. I hope it was good for you. I hope it was good for you parents as well. Uh, in reading Adam and the Golden Horseshoe. Uh, if you pre-ordered this book, they do come towards the end of May, I think May 24th, uh, and you can still pre-order the book if you'd like at trismbooks.com. It's all there. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it more than anything. Thank you.